2010 will be the third full season in Formula 1 for Timo Glock. After making his debut with Jordan in 2004, replacing Giorgio Pantano for four races, the German joined the sport full-time with Toyota in 2008. With the Japanese manufacturer having pulled out of F1 at the end of this season, Timo moves to Virgin Racing to spearhead the lineup alongside old GP2 sparring partner Lucas Degrassi. Yep. Timo, um, first of all, congratulations with your seat. It was already um, confirmed a while ago, but um, how does this feel? Oh, it's great. I mean, it's a, a great feeling, I think, for everyone. Everyone is really, really delighted and uh, happy to have this this lo first launch of uh, of the team of Virgin Racing. And uh, I think everyone is looking forward now to, to see the, the first time the car on track. And uh, me too. I mean, it's a long time ago for me that I was in, in a Formula One, sitting in a Formula One car. So I'm really, really happy uh, to start working with the team as soon as possible. Talking about that, how's the back? Oh, really good. I mean, I have no problems anymore. The leg, uh, the left leg and my back is okay. So uh, I started training already a couple of weeks ago and uh, that's not a problem anymore. Okay, good. Um, you were quite, uh, you were uh, in negotiations with, with other teams as well. What made you choose for this one? I mean, the, you know, I had this, uh, my decision made already uh, quite early um, before I met the guys here at, at Virgin Racing and my personal one. Um, but we didn't sign any contract in that situation, so uh, I got this phone call from from the guys here, and uh, they they asked me to, to just come over and, and have a look. So we flew over, and uh, at the end, when we flew back, uh, the decision turned around in my head, and my stomach feeling came up and said, uh, "I have to use this chance because it's it's different. I mean, the team is different to everything else on the grid. They uh, develop the car in a different way by CFD with Nick Wurz." And uh, the future looks different in Formula 1. I think it comes back to smaller budgets, to smaller teams. And uh, in the team, we have a lot of experienced guys. Christian Silk uh, is on board. He, he was at Renault for a long time. A lot of good engineers. And uh, at the end, you know, the whole first, very first impression were just really positive. You say you had your mind made up quite a while. What was your first uh, decision? <laughs> can't tell you really but uh, you know it would have been definitely not Toyota uh, would have changed did you did you see the, uh, the pull out coming for Toyota my feeling my feeling was already a couple of weeks before that uh, there is something going on uh, and that that was the reason why we were just looking around for for new possibilities and at the end we were right I think we had quite a good uh, view in that uh, uh, and made the right decision for us Rookie as your teammate, um, what do you think of him? Yeah, I think he, sure, he's a rookie in Formula 1, but his experience in Formula 1 is there, so he's not a, for me, not a real rookie. He knows what he has to do. Uh, he brings some experience from Renault as a test driver. Really uh, uh, quick in GP2. I was fighting against him for the championship. So I think the lineup is, is, is quite nice. Young drivers. Um, but un unfortunately, I'm the oldest of them, so that's a bit of a strange feeling with 27 years old. Yeah. Uh, but at the end, I think the mix is really good in the team, and uh, with Lucas, I'm really looking forward to work with him together. What do you think of the new point system? Oh, it's good. I think for, for us, it's a good opportunity uh, to fight to fight for points, um, and with 26 cars on the grid, uh, I think is is a good good way to do it like this. Um, first race in Bahrain. What are your expectations for that? I know it's early, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, we didn't do any any uh, kilometer in the car so far, so... We have to be realistic. Um, we have to, we want to finish the race. First of all, it will be a tough one, because uh, with the new regulations, no refueling. Uh, we go, you go in the race with 160 kilos of fuel. Uh, and then you go to Bahrain, which is a really demanding track on, on the brakes. That will be the first challenge, but uh, you know we want to be the best of the new teams, and then our our progress has to be really, really uh, you know aggressive. I want to see uh, development through the whole year, and that's what we have to work on. The question mark is where we start into the season. Okay. Thanks very much. Good luck.